Hello everyone, Mike with Newfound Past with this week's haul video. Uh, for all of our new subscribers, I've been in the flipping world for over 20 years. Started in the late 90s on Amazon and eBay. Shifted into two full-time retail stores. Uh, did that for 10 years, sold those, moved to the East Coast, and been flipping for about almost three years ever since. All right, guys, this week's haul video is a doozy. Um, you know how haul, you know, you know, thrifting's hit and miss. Well, this week was a hit. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. So I'm not going to waste any time. We're just going to jump into it. I got a few things at an auction, actually. First, I got this uh, Parasound turntable in the box. And, you know, the thing about this, the bad thing about this auction was there was no inspection. The good thing is things went cheap. So I haven't even opened this. It's in the box. It's in there. But uh, I got, I've only paid $5 for this. And if it's all in there and if this works, it's, it'll sell for about $75 or so. So, you know, small gamble. Even, you know, at $5, even if it doesn't work, I can part it out and make pretty good money off of it. A couple other things I got at the auction. One was a, a power washer for myself. It's in the truck. <laughs> and uh, I got these DVD sets for a dollar each. Not a dollar per season. That's the whole, this bag was a dollar. So I'm going to open it up and show you. Yeah, brand new in the wrap. News radio. Remember that show? I thought it was great. There's uh, three different seasons here. Of news radio. Don't even know what seasons they are. But uh, yeah, brand new for a dollar for all three of them. Can't go wrong with that. Alright. Also at the same auction. A dollar for this whole box. Third Rock from the Sun, seasons one, two, three, and four. Isn't that awesome? I love this show. Yeah, a dollar for the whole box. So essentially 25 cents a piece for those sets. And it has a, a book with it. So I couldn't go wrong with that. And we got this bag as well, a dollar for all four seasons in this bag. Open the bag up and it is the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Yep, we got first, second, third, and fourth seasons sealed. So yeah, we'll see how those sell. I have no idea, but all I know is for a dollar, that's one heck of a deal. And also at a thrift store, not at the auction, we got this sealed, brand new in the wrap, seasons one and two of Jag for a dollar, 50% off. So. Yeah, some really good DVD deals. I was really, really happy with that. Like I said, guys, the haul is huge today. I mean, it's just massive amounts of stuff here. So everything's just kind of everywhere. I got it by here behind me. And, uh, we got this Erector set, Design 4. For uh, We got 10% off, so you know, five and change for this. And these sell for about that $50 mark because it's brand new in the wrap. The box has a little shelfware, but yeah, it's sealed. It's brand new. Really cool. Okay. And we got this Rescue Heroes Micro Adventures set, brand new in the box. And pink and blue were half off, blue and pink. So I got this for $13.50. And with Christmas season coming up, this should sell, with free shipping, this should sell for about $75 or so. So yeah, $13.50 was a small risk, a little shelfware. Not a big deal though. All right. Next we have this Command Challenge Dueling Tanks toy. Got this for $15, so blue and pink half off. And again, with shipping, you know, free shipping, this should sell about $75 or so. It's too bad where I'm, you know, gated on Amazon toys because these would be prime candidates for that, but that's okay. eBay treats me really well, so. Okay, we got an amber glass uh, ashtray for 75 cents. You know, it's kind of plain. It does have this little pattern here, which is kind of nice. It's about a seven inch or so. So, but that should sell, you know, well, $30 or so. Okay. We got this Le Crusette uh, salt shaker. Could be pepper, I guess, but uh, 
Salvation Army is 25% off, so got this for about a buck fifty. You know, Lake Cruzette's a good name brand. This is brand new in the box. It's black. Little bird. Yeah, should sell okay. Thirty dollars or so. Okay, my wife picked these up. This is a brand I wasn't familiar with, but she knew this designer, this Marushka. Uh, 10% off on each of these, so 270 each for this set. And then we'll sell these as a pair for about $40 or so with free shipping. And what we got next here? This comfy zone, the soft uh, neck thing for when you, you know your dog has surgery or everything. We already have one of these. We got this one because it was new with the tags. $6 and we'll resell this for about 40 bucks or so. Next, this uh, I've so we've sold stuff like this before. This uh, Taylor and Ing little Scotty dog trivet tile made in Japan. Got that for two dollars and seventy cents. And no exact comps for these, but similar tiles you know sell for in that thirty forty dollar range or so. Okay. Next, this really big bag. This is a ski uh, skis bag. You put your skis in it. It's really super long. It's a Solomon Equip bag. It's practically new. It doesn't have the tag, so I can't call it new. But you know, all this is used. But paid fifteen dollars for this. The only comp for this was a smaller version of this that sold for fifty on eBay, I think. But this is the larger version. And I'm pretty sure this will go, you know, 75 to 100 bucks for that bag. Okay. I was inspired by Andy, the parrot head picker, with his shoes. And I do look at shoes, but not as in, in depth as I should. So I took my time this time and I found this really cool pair of Stacy Adams blue suede shoes with the Griffin buckle. And these are like new. Check these out. And like they've never been worn got the bottom and these were 25% off so I got these for $15 and I, I'm gonna list these for about $75 or so really nice next I got these Mars Blackman Air Jordan shoes you got to be careful with these because these can be faked but these are real you got to look up online there's a lot of resources about how the Jordan is different like his hand will be flipped up if it's fake the logo is a little bit different but these are the real deal and uh yeah i got these for you know 12 and change or so 25 percent off and these were in really good condition not new by any stretch but really good condition i think i'll get about 100 bucks for these next a pair of women's keen hiking boots these are definitely used but i only paid you know about 10 bucks for these and probably get about 40 or 50 bucks out of these smaller size but i'm trying to yeah there you go see how good of condition they are the soles aren't even that worn so yeah really really nice pair of hiking boots so thanks for inspiring us andy <laughs> make some money Okay, uh, what else do we have down here? Let's, before we get into clothes, we have, okay, didn't even un unwrap this. These were part of, uh, we didn't get the whole set, but they're part of a set, these uh, pottery, this, it has a spaghetti, uh, $2.50, bloom pink, half off. My wife looked this up and these sell really well. You know, I don't know exactly what this one will bring, but uh, she's really good at picking the pottery and the purses and bags and she's good at a lot of stuff but uh yeah she also knew that i'd sold one of these before and when she saw it she grabbed it the lipton sun tea jar got this for two bucks one dollar eighty and uh, i've sold one of these before for about 25 dollars plus shipping so this one may go for you know 30 or 40 bucks or so okay other receipt I was looking for 
we got this Ugh. we'll probably keep for ourselves but you know if somebody offered the right price for it we would sell it this is an antique glass box with a brass rim and it's about a foot long you know eight inches deep but it's just really really cool we got this for half off so we got that for six dollars we'll probably just set this up on a shelf in our living room and put some of our tchotchkes and stuff in it just a really really neat little antique box I'll set that right back down in this bag I'll break it okay set that back out of the way so I don't kick it okay well, let me see uh, let me see here gotta shift around you know another bag full of stuff that wouldn't fit up here what do we got in here I don't even remember what we got We've got a puzzle brand new in the box very blueprints for a dollar this is brand new in the box and this sells for about $25 or so got this this is reproduction but <laughs> we got it for 50 cents but this almost could be considered vintage even though it's a reproduction because this was reproduced in the 90s this little metal toy boat I think my wife saw it somewhere maybe she looked it up oh there it is look 1996 so it's already vintage again this little reproduction toy is already 22 years old <laughs> the vintage rolls around again we got this set to well, it's not really a set but they sold it as a set but these uh pink dishes and these are tiffany we got the whole the three pieces for two dollars and fifty cents let me peel that off of there i hate it when they put the tag right over the the markings yeah see Let's see if it'll focus but there's really no comps for this But that is a legit Tiffany logo made in USA and there's a bowl and there's a little like shallow bowl plate so yeah, all three pieces for two dollars and fifty cents and we, we couldn't find any comps but for two dollars and fifty cents for three pieces of Tiffany we figured that was worth the chance don't you think yeah my wife also picked this up like i said she's really good at picking pottery i don't know anything about it but she said it'll be this is false craft got this for a dollar fifty and she said it should be fine you know 30 35 dollars or so got a kong toy for our dog now this looks new but you know it's a little dirty thing what the uh trick to this you know it's only 50 cents you know you obviously don't want your dog licking after another dog but you put this in a pot of boiling water and it'll sanitize it and you just got a you know twenty dollar toy for fifty cents so. okay oh yeah i talked about the house mugs before here's the world's greatest grandpa house mug sold you know these before there was one in a sold video just not too long ago fifty cents that should be about twenty twenty five dollar mug all right, that's all in that bag. So set that to the side. Okay, going up here. I got these for myself. I I don't show mostly if we get stuff for ourselves, but these are my favorite kind of jeans. These Levi's five five nines. Uh, yeah, and I got these for six dollars and fifty cents. Much rather pay six dollars and fifty cents than retail price, right? I like these because they they're they're uh, stretchy, but they're made in Egypt better quality good fabric nice pair of jeans these and they have this uh, butterfly inseam higher quality nice pair of jeans I always pick up I try to almost always pick up my own clothes at thrift stores because I find so much good stuff here's a brand I never heard of in my entire life literally I've been in this business for 20 years never heard of this once Paul and Shark yachting brand. And this is a centennial pair of jeans. Paid, got 10% off, paid $18 for these jeans. 
because when I saw the new with the tags, I'm like, oh, I'll look it up because I've never heard of it before. And these jeans sell for about $125. I was floored. And if you feel them, they are good quality. You know, you can tell the feel of quality of fabrics, but I just couldn't believe it that these jeans would sell for that much. But I've verified and re-verified and showed it to the wife and yeah. So that, you know, $18 is worth it because these will sell for, you know, may, hopefully make close to $100 profit over of one pair of jeans. Isn't that amazing? I was, I was floored and happy. That's why we do this, right? Okay, we got these. These are weird. This might be the weird find of the, the whole week. Looks like prison overalls, right? But they're not. These are dicky overalls or you know and they're like brand new they don't have tags but they are like new I got these at salvation army 25 percent off so you know whatever that, whatever that is five and change six and change and dickies extra large regular and like i said these were like new and uh you know construction crews and stuff where this the really cool thing about it it has the ref reflective stripes but the really cool thing about these is they both have the Texas state flag stitched on them. I thought that was just so weird and different and cool. Obviously no comps for these, but for six bucks a pair, and there, there wasn't one of them, there was two pair of them, like new, both of them with that Texas state flag stitched on it. So I thought it was worth the chance. You know, they're the same size, cheap, and hopefully they'll sell for about 40 or $50 a pair. I don't know, what do you guys think? No comps on something like that okay so moving i told you it was a big haul didn't i first coat let's get arranged here oh actually we got one more hard good here i forgot about completely forgot about it but it's big we got this folding chair it's an aluminum folding beach chair and it's the uh telescope casual made in usa and we got that for $7.50. I know it's upside down there, but, and this chair has the tag still on it. So it's like, you know, new or new other. And this chair sells retail for over $100. But you know, shipping is not really an option with that. But if I can sell that locally, maybe hopefully get you know 60 bucks out of it who knows okay so on to coats and jackets we got this when i was going through the racks i was like first thing i saw was this price 50 bucks i'm like holy crap and i almost just kept on flipping but then i saw the the double h heli hansen extra large we got 10 percent off so this is 45 dollars. but this jacket this coat new would be over 300 dollars and I'll probably be able to sell it for, you know, with free shipping about 150, maybe 175. So $50, $45 is worth it, you know? So either they knew what they had or, I mean, these stores are marking, most of these stores are marking like Columbia at that price, which is absolutely ridiculous. But uh, Heli Hansen is worth that price. So who knows? And next we got another down vest we paid nine dollars for the vest and this is another eddie bauer down reversible vest remember my tip about down vests well there's the eddie bauer tag right there but you got to look in the pockets for the tag for the label so we just gotta gotta go through the there it is hundred percent and goose down insulation so nine dollars for that vest you know in the past i would get this vest for five dollars or so but uh that vest since it's goose down will still bring 40 you know with free shipping i may even get 50 with the on that vest so next we have this another eddie bauer vest and it's a down vest but it's an older style black label this is Eddie Bowers, one of their old, older logos. Paid, you know, 10 and change for that, 10% off. 
and I would have maybe passed on this. Um, I, there's no doubt about it. I would have passed on this because it has a a hole in the collar right there. It's not bad. It's not terrible, but there's a little like hole in the in the rib knitting of the the neck collar. But the reason I did go for it was it's brand new. This is a serious vintage, brand new with the tags, Eddie Bauer vest. So went ahead and went for it. We'll list it as new other and you know point out the hole in in the uh, rib knit collar and uh, see what it brings you know I think if it didn't have that hole in it I think this vest is a $75 vest with that hole maybe still 50 we'll see we got this Notre Dame hoodie this is used it's not new and we got 10% off so you know we paid six dollars and thirty cents the reason I only went for this if this was just a generic Notre Dame hoodie used I wouldn't have bought this but this is a a hams uh, made exclusively for the Notre Dame bookstore hoodie and uh, this will sell for about forty dollars with free shipping because of that so I went ahead and went for it next up we have a nutcracker sweater brand new with the tags made by the uh, tipsy elves paid nine dollars for that and this should sell with free shipping for about 40 or four you know 50 maybe even 50 dollars i think only one uh, one other uh, nutcracker version is sold but this tipsy elf brand is a good brand for these sweaters a lot of them have sold of the different styles and designs Kind of mowing through here guys because i got like 25 clothing items so lots of good stuff we got this sweater vest this callaway golf sweater vest brand new with the tags we got it for four dollars blue and pink half off i uh, didn't even really comp this because i know with free shipping this thing will sell for 30 35 dollars or so so next we have wait i need to show the back of this <laughs> This is a 1990s like satin jacket with the rib knitting. And this is the Who's Tommy on Broadway from the 90s. Uh, no comps on these. There's some other merch from the play that I sold on eBay, but not a jacket, not a satin jacket like this. Uh, see me, feel me, touch me, heal me. Paid about 15 bucks for this. And check out that vintage zipper heavy duty this is just straight 90s no comps for this but you know $15 in I think this thing may sell for 75 to 100 dollars I'm not positive because there's no comps it's just kind of a gut feeling about this it's just really really neat the who has a big following you know so we'll see won't we next up this nice nice heavy duty let me scoop these back back here I knock something over and break it okay this nice heavy duty Eddie Bauer uh, down coat it's a women's medium and we got this for $12.50 let's see if I can label and this is like the, the white ivory label $12.50 uh, women's medium goose down nice super nice condition and uh yeah, $12.50, we should get about $75 for that coat. Really, really nice. Next, we have this uh, L.L. Bean. This is a small, petite women's, which you wouldn't think there would be a big market for that, but I sell quite a bit of women's small, petite stuff. Uh, $12.50. Again, it's a... Uh, yeah. There it is, minimum 80% goose down. It's a little bit newer when they started getting away from the 100%, but still really nice brown uh, puffy jacket. And this should sell about 50 bucks or so. Sold one similar to that today or yesterday for, for 50 or $60. Next, another L.L. Bean. This is a, a newer one because it has the uh, tagless label on it we got this for seven dollars and fifty cents nor i probably would have passed on this but the only reason i got it is their uh prima loft down tech and water repelling down 
but it's a really thin jack. Oh, not the Prima Tech, the yeah, that's what I was looking at per text coin. But uh, yeah, if the, it's really light. It's not like the big, thick, heavy one, so it's a light bound jacket for seven dollars and fifty cents. This should be fine, about sixty dollars or so on that. All right, back after some storage issues. Uh, have, you know, have an iPad that I'm recording this on. I have an iMac, and Apple's supposed to make this stuff easy, right? They don't make it easy. <laughs> but anyway, I'm on to this uh, Corduroy uh, Ralph Lauren blazer. You can see that there. I paid three bucks for this. Has this little spot on it. Just a little blue spot there. I probably can get that out, but if I can't, I'll still make a profit on this because without the spot, this thing would sell for fifty or sixty bucks. With a spot, you know, if I can't get it out, it would still sell for $20, $25. So next we have, my wife found this, and I was just floored. This America Online leather and cloth jacket. I check that out. Crazy. Um, this is <laughs> strange, but there are... are bunch of these listed for a hundred plus the solds are 50 60 bucks or so and that's probably you know i'll probably go in between i'll probably go you know that 75 range or so got this for 1250 it's in good condition of course i'll lint roll it and get it all nice and tidy and pretty and yeah it's just a by golden bear so yeah can't believe people still buy this stuff but they do check the comps on these you'll see the solds Next we have, I'm running out of room on my hanger there. Maybe I can go up here. There we go. Got an L.L. Bean denim shirt that's flannel lined. Check that out. That's awesome, isn't it? Got it paid $9 for this, 10% off. Uh, this is a vintage L.L. Bean uh, assembled in Guatemala of USA components. It's a double extra large tall, so really good size. And, you know, just from looking at this, you, you know, 10 bucks is a big price, and it is. But this thing, this thing will sell for about, you know, with free shipping, 50 to $60 or so. You're like, what? I'm like, yeah, it will. Look it up. Nice little find. Next, this Duluth Trading Company fishing vest. <laughs> this was a, a double extra large, and this was, again, $9.00. When I, I threw this in the cart when I was just going through the racks and I didn't know if it would comp out or not but since this is a fishing vest and it is, it has the little component pockets and lures and all that kind of stuff this thing, new, was about $125 but it'll resell for 40 or 50 bucks or so you know, with free shipping I'll probably get closer to 50 next, I think this is my only foot joy find of the day this is a, it's not a dry joys, it's just a regular foot joy it was $3.50, blue and pink half off, double extra large. I'll have to look up what this country club this is. I didn't know what it was, HH, but all you have to do is put in HH country club and it'll probably pop something up. Just a short sleeve little windbreaker. Yeah, and those sell all the time for $30, $35 or so. Okay, just a few more items, guys. Big, big haul, crazy big. This is a, another corduroy jacket. This is a women's medium petite. Paid thirteen fifty for this. L.L. Bean. Vintage. Made in Thailand. But this is a... Uh, is that fleece lined? or I don't know. It's lined. It's, a, it's flannel. It's just not a buffalo plaid or anything. It's just a flannel lined cordu corduroy jacket. And that's what makes this jacket, really. If this wasn't lined, I don't know if we'd have went for it. Uh, maybe, who knows? Just comp it out just like everything else. But, uh, you know, pay thirteen fifty, and this thing, you know, go in that 50 to 60 range. That's pretty much what I go for with jackets and coats now. It's $50 and up. This one's really neat. Another corduroy, but this is like a shirt jacket, what they would call it. Uh, this one was... $3.50. This is a polo by Ralph Lauren, but it has the uh, quail logo on it, which is really nice. So, yeah, I don't I didn't even comp this. I just picked it up and kept on going because it was $3.50 in decent shape. What do you guys think that'll sell for? It'd be nice if it was 50 bucks or so, right? But who knows? 
next. This isn't a down or anything, but it is an L.L. Bean. Paid 18 bucks for this. Uh, medium regular. This is like a canvas, but it's a quilted line. Jacket coat with the corduroy collar. It's like a blue color, and this thing will sell for about that 60 to $70 mark, actually. Even not being down, that quilted line, like barn type jacket, they're pretty hot. Okay, next up, I've, just to let you guys know, I've had multiple issues with my iPad filling up with storage, so I've had to stop and start, stop and start. But anyway, next up is this really, really neat. It's an older fashion, you know, the wide collar, V-cut leather jacket. And when I saw this, you know, I wasn't really interested in the style, and it was, you know, $18 to get 10% off. But uh happened to see that. Yves Saint Laurent. Okay, well, it doesn't mean much, but uh, and I looked in here, the tag, okay, that looked uh, fake to me, honestly. But I still threw it in the cart and, you know, went over and got on a website where they have all these historical labels saved, and this is sure enough legit Yves Saint Laurent tag that they used in the 70s in men's coats and blazers. Yep size 40 so and this is legitimate to have the you know the print on the, the lining it had the prints inside the the, the the arm line as well the arm lining so obviously no comps for that but there's some more modern Yves Saint Laurent leather coats and jackets that have sold you know for big bucks three four hundred dollars since this one's vintage I have no idea it is really high quality leather but we'll see Next up, we have another satin jacket. This is a ESPN from the 80s. This was $7.50. Blue and pink was half off. If this was just plain ESPN, you know, whatever, $7.50, it would have been, have been on the fence. You know, obviously there are no comps for this. It's still cool, regardless. There's a little schmutz on it right down there, but that'll come off pretty easily. But it's what, what really made it was the back as well the fishing hole and you're like what in the world espn jacket with the fishing hole on it well yeah i'm pretty certain i can't guarantee but i'm pretty certain this was a show on espn in the 80s back in the 80s espn didn't have all these big contracts with you know baseball and football and basketball and all this stuff they showed all kinds of odd sports they showed fishing they showed lumberjacking they showed all kinds of stuff so uh i believe that's what this is from really really neat all right next another cool vintage thing this would be perfect in like that 70 show or dazed and confused check that shirt out the wild blue and purple and this is from sears the men's store yeah really really neat Let me get that up there in the light paid three dollars and fifty cents for this in pretty good condition. The only little condition issue it has is one of the grommets was missing, but it's not a huge deal. See the eyelet, the grommet. But man, that that would definitely probably go to a movie prop studio. I've sold a lot of stuff to to prop studios back in the day, and that would be perfect for them as well. You know, and you can't beat the price three dollars and fifty cents. You know, it'd be nice if I got you know fifty bucks out of that. But we'll see. All right, last thing. Last item is this another really cool vintage members only leather jacket that is serious 70s written all over it. You know, late 70s, early 80s, maybe. The made in Korea, Europe craft members only. Paid $22.50 for this, which is pretty high, but uh, I just couldn't resist. It is so unique, so vintage. Check it out, it's got like the bear pool on it. Just so different. And it even have, it has a hood. How many times have you seen a hooded leather jacket in vintage? Sorry, I'm dealing with a, yeah, there we go. See? Just really, really neat. All right, guys, that is it. That is a lot of items, big haul. 
Uh, appreciate all of our subscribers, of course, all our new subscribers, our patrons. You guys are awesome. Uh, you, you will see me back again this Friday with What Sold. Thanks, guys.